All right, kiddos, this is an important video about how to make a sandwich. And my inspiration for this video is my 13-year-old son who may starve and go hungry because he does not possess this knowledge yet. <laughs> so, to save you guys in this pandemic, should you ever find yourself hungry and you don't know what to do, we're going to cover making a sandwich. Uh, step one is finding bread. This is a very important part of the sandwich. In fact, it's required. We're going to need some other ingredients, but bread is mandatory. So we have to find bread. Let's go take a look. Here we are at the bread drawer. Now, I just heard a comment that you don't need bread to make a sandwich. And this is going to be a test question. Do you need bread to make a sandwich? And the answer is yes. It's false. You cannot make a sandwich without bread. If you jam ingredients between two other ingredients, it could be delicious, it could be edible, but it's not a sandwich unless the two outer ingredients are in fact bread. <laughs> so here we are in the bread drawer, and any of this bread will make a sandwich. We have club rolls. Club rolls are delicious. Another question about bread. What if you use a wrap? Well, another trick question. Look for this on the test. Can you make a sandwich with a wrap? True or false? I guess it's not a true or false question yet. Can you make a sandwich with a wrap? Yes or no? The answer is no, because it's a wrap if you use a wrap. Okay? So to look for that trick question, you can't make a sandwich with a wrap, it would be a wrap. So hot dog buns, club, oh man, life is good. We've got all kinds of bread choices, but let's just say that all the good bread's gone. Boom, here it goes. Here goes the good bread. Here goes the good bread. And then we find our help, ourselves down here with like bread heels, okay? The butt, the end of the bread. And yes, this might be a question on the test also. Can you make a sandwich with bread heels? And the answer is yes. In fact, a lot of people look down on these slices of bread, but these are in fact the lucky pieces of bread. And you say, why are they lucky? Because they're there at the end, and when you needed a slice of bread, bang. Who steps up to save the day? The bread heel. All right, we've made our bread selection here, and now we need ingredients to go between the bread. So those ingredients are going to go between this surface and this surface. We're going to cut the bread, and we'll take a look at our ingredients over here. We have... Lettuce, you may not have lettuce. You could exclude this ingredient for the sandwich. We have a meat product. In this case, we have some bacon, and it's good to go with both meats and vegetables, uh, and some fruits if you have them here. So we have a little bit of tomato, and what we're about to do is make a bacon, lettuce, and tomato sandwich. Now, to start this sandwich, an important thing is you can't put these ingredients on dry bread you're going to need a protective film to separate the bread from the ingredients and we've chosen mayonnaise for this job. So we'll go ahead and we'll prime our surfaces for the sandwich ingredients. So after we have our surfaces primed, and this isn't required, this step here, but in my opinion, it's just going to make a sandwich that's going to last, it's going to come through, um, and you're going to enjoy it more with a little bit of black pepper if you have that. So we put a little black pepper down on our primed surfaces, and this is really just a transfer into the ingredients. So you're going through bread, you're going through your layer of primer, and then you hit this transfer layer, which is pepper, and you can even go light here with a little bit of salt. Now let's talk about the bacon. Um, what we want to do is get complete coverage on our bacon. Rookie mistake here, and I've made this and I still make this today. You got your bread laid out and there is a top side and there's a bottom side. So before you start laying your ingredients down, you want to make sure that you've identified bottom and top. All right, so we've gone for complete meat coverage on the sandwich. Uh, very important that you cover it. It's okay for a small amount of overhang, but keep in mind the size of the hole that this is going to be going in. So if it ends up larger than that, 
then you're going to have hang-ups and you're going to have stuff falling down on the plate. If we go to the bacon, this sandwich is actually called a bacon, lettuce, and tomato. They say it that way so you get your ingredients in order. So we'll move to the lettuce. And what we're looking for is, again, complete coverage here. And we can go for two, even three layers. And you'll notice that I have this white part of lettuce right here. What we're going to do, just for aesthetics, is we're going to hide that back here. It's good crunch, but it doesn't look as appealing as the green leafy end. So you can just rip this to fit again so you're getting good coverage. And see we have two layers here. And this back we have two pieces, but we're going to blanket that all with a nice tail coming right out of the back of the sandwich here. Now we go to the tomato. Slices are best for this, but in this case, uh, this will be the last BLT that we've made. So we're cleaning up what's left of the tomato. So we're going to look for good complete coverage again. Um, we're going to just stack these so we have an even layer of tomato across this. This is where you're going to go heavy with the salt layer. We went light on our primered layers to help that transfer section through, but go ahead and go heavy right here on the tomatoes. They'll thank you for it later. And then we're going to put the top on. This is important right here. We're going to do a slight press. We don't want to go too far. We'll smash the bread, but we're going to have to get that thing just pushed into the primer layers to help hold it together when you eat it. So if we didn't do that step, you're liable to plate it and then your customer picks it up and then bread slides right off. And you might be that customer if you're making this for yourself. And we've plated it on this paper towel. Great for wiping your hands because you can rip them in these shorter lengths. But as far as plating a sandwich, we would prefer to have a one solid sheet. But that's okay. It's all about making do with what you have. And so if you find yourself in a situation where you're really hungry and you don't know what to do, think back. You'll be able to reference this video, and hopefully it'll get you through those tough times. Thank you.